I am back from New York and I come bearing headphones. These are my brother's TMA2s and they have the adapted ear cups on them. Here are the original ones and we can set that to the side. We almost had them, but there are some slight adjustments we need to make. The first and biggest one is when you put them on, there is a little bit more pressure on top of the head than there is on the bottom because we think what happened is with the nine millimeter offset, it's expanded the band out too much. Therefore, it's putting more pressure on the top. So to solve that issue, I think what we're gonna do is either remove the offset so that we go down to like maybe five millimeters of offset or we angle the surfaces so that the body of the headphones can sit at a slight angle while the adapters sit comfortable against your head. Another issue is that the nubs on the back are slightly different. On the original ones, they only stick out six millimeters and we have them sticking out eight millimeters. So we'll adjust those down for the next print. And the biggest thing is on the original earpieces, there is an O-ring that surrounds the driver. And we believe this seals the headset so that more bass is produced into the ear canal instead of around the outside. On our design, we do not have any of that feature. So not only are the earpieces longer, holding the earpiece away from the body more, there is no O-ring to seal with the body of the driver. So we're going to measure these details, put them into this part, probably with a slightly smaller O-ring, and then see how they perform. So the first thing I'm going to do is to set up the device on my laptop and listen to the headphones with the original earpieces and then try on the current adapted earpieces and then do all the changes that we want, print out the new ones, and then see how the new adapters work. After playing around with them for a couple hours, there is definitely a noticeable difference between the original ear cups and the ones that we are making. I think the biggest thing is the lack of the O-ring is letting all of the bass bleed out, like I originally said. I have the headphones set up with one of the original ear cups and one with the new ear cups. And when you put them on, then you hold up each ear, this is much more bass driven and this is kind of tinny. So we are going to open up Inventor and we are going to modify a couple things in the part and I'm gonna show you how I plan on doing that. All right, we have the part open and the first thing that we are going to do is go in here and modify the length of the nubs. So we're gonna go six millimeters and that's going to update that model. And I'm also going to measure the offset of the O-ring. We're looking at about 0 0.025. And I know that the O-ring on here is a 139. So calculating that out, it's about a 20% squish, which is normal for these. They're pretty soft, but they're not the softest I felt. So I've decided to order the softest variation I can. I also got one that are eighth inch thick instead of 139. 
And the reason for that is when you're wearing these and they're pressing against the ear, you can feel the plastic behind the screen. And that is actually the surround of the O-ring. So by going with a slightly smaller O-ring, the protrusion of the plastic against your ear should be less. And I'm hoping with that thinner O-ring and reducing the offset, it'll be more comfortable when we print the next ones. So to adapt for that O-ring, we're gonna go back into the original sketch. We're gonna take some measurements. We're gonna say the new hole is 35 millimeters. And it actually has a 45 degree chamfer on it. So we're gonna start by just placing 35 millimeter location. And we're going to add a filler. This is where the O-ring is going to live. And the O-ring that I ordered is a dash 130 O-ring. And I know that has an outside diameter of 1.8 inches. So now we're gonna connect a bunch of lines together. So the last thing that I need to define is the angle of the surface. And I've decided that the O-ring is going to be uh, OD fit. So basically the actual O-ring is 1.812 inches in diameter, nominally. And I've set this dimension to be 1.8. So that means that as you snap the O-ring in, it'll kind of expand into its groove. And to help keep that set in, I'm going to add uh, an angle to this surface in the opposite direction that typical draft would be. Since I'm 3D printing it, it doesn't really matter. But five degrees, this would not be fun to make in the real world because it has negative draft compared to the pull direction. But it'll work for me because I'm 3D printing it. So uh, with this geometry done, I just hit finish. It'll update all of the model with the new geometry. I'm gonna go in here and on these tiny surfaces, Add some chamfers. I forgot a part. Um, we are going to adjust the nine millimeter offset to five. Nope. Six. Ugh. That is not the way I expected that to move. All right, now we're ready. Gonna save, export, print, and we are back at the desk. I've already installed the ear cups onto the headphones. And as you can see, there is the O-ring. Just snaps out and snaps in real quickly. I think the vat in my printer is getting a little bit tired. So there is some unwanted delamination, but that is okay for this. I will take care of that later. And the verdict is Pretty good. I've been listening to these for quite a few hours now, and I've been switching back and forth between the new ear cups and the original ear cups. And to me, there is no discernible difference. There might be a slight difference in the bass response. The original ones might have 
a little bit more reverb at the very, very low ends, but these sound great compared to where we began without having the O-rings and having the nubs the wrong distance. Those just had absolutely no bass response. These, I feel like, have the perfect amount of bass response. And the original ones, in my opinion, I think are a little bit too muddy. But that's the best I could do with what I have now. I hope my brother appreciates the way these sound and do him justice for what he does. The song that I was listening to was DJ Crush's No More. And... I know that that song is a great song to really push the bass of speakers, and I felt like it was a great test for these. And after listening to them for quite a few hours, um, I think they sound great. The offset of moving them from 9mm back down to 6mm, along with using the thinner O-ring, really makes them comfortable headphones as well. The longest I've worn these so far is about three hours. And in that time, I felt no discomfort of the plastic inside the print pressing against my ear. So not only do they sound great, they're very comfortable as well. So I think that's mission complete for these. It means that I can get them all packaged up and mail them to my brother which means that this is the end of this project. I hope you enjoyed coming along, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. And if you are still here, I got a little treat for you. While I made this seem like a relatively easy project, it took me four iterations to get this design correct. The very first one that my brother and I designed, the modified one with a different kind of mount to hold the foam pad in. That's when we realized that there was an O-ring. There was the first version of the O-ring, which had the compression wrong, so that it wasn't sealing around the driver than this, which seals around the driver and is super comfortable. Thanks for watching.